Hello friends, Captain Adi here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will build the Sukhoi 30 MKI of the Indian Air Force. I will use a Trumpeteer SU-30 MKK kit and do the required modifications to convert it into a Su-30 MKI. I start with the cockpit. I build the basic cockpit and I attach this to the upper fuse lodge. Ejection seats will be added later on. Exhaust cans and the nose gear bay are added to the lower fuselage half. As the Sukhoi 30 MKI has canards, I cut out two leading edge extensions using plastic card. Try to get your dimensions correct as it will affect the fit later on. I join these extensions to the upper fuse lodge half. As you can see, I joined the fuselage in sections, starting from the back, moving on to the wings and finishing off with the nose. In my opinion, this helps in getting the alignment correct and also eliminates the fit issues. If you have been enjoying the build till now, please do consider to subscribe to the channel as your support. Many thanks friends. Flaperons, slats and the horizontal stabilizers are added next. We now build up the leading edge extensions with epoxy putty. I let this dry and then I add a second layer to get the required thickness. I now wet sand this and blend the putty into the fuselage. I use primer to check for any problems. For a final detail I rescribe the panel lines which were lost and I make new ones referring to the line drawings which you can find on the internet. The Su-30 MKI when parked has its engine nozzles at an angle and pointed inwards. So I use plastic sheet again to make the required modifications. I attach plastic to the inner nozzle as a base 
and for the swivel mechanism I use plastic sheet again and I cut this to the required shape. These nozzles are now attached to the fuse load. The tails used by the MKI version are different so I modified this by cutting away the tops and adding wedge shaped portions to them and adding plastic to the bottom and the rear portions. I also make new rudders which are also different. I chose a loadout of OFARP 250 bombs and two R-73 missiles. These bombs however are not provided in the kit. So I dig my spares and I use the bomb supplied in the Trumpeteer MiG-23PN and MiG-27 kits which I had built before. I modify these bombs as their nose and the stabilizing fins are different. So I cut away the nose and I attach a flat plastic sheet. On this, I put a drop of resin and I let this dry. This makes the nose a little flat as it is on the actual OFA bombs. I now prep the model for painting. I simply use diluted black acrylic paint and I airbrush this on the entire model. I mostly concentrate on the panel lines but I also make uneven patches for the weathering. To get matching color for the canopy and the rest of the model, I complete the cockpit by adding the instrument panel decals, ejection seats and the joysticks. I also give a black wash to this. Before masking the canopy, I removed the seam line by carefully scraping it away. Next I use a automotive rubbing compound to smooth away the seam portion. The Indian Sukhois are painted in a light greyish color. Most of the aircraft are generally clean but there are a few which are highly weathered and have faded paint. I chose to go somewhere in between. I initially paint bright silver to the engine area and the gun panels as a base for the burnt metal effect which is commonly seen on most Sukhois. I mask this area now for the second paint. I paint the model light grey initially. I use acrylic paint and I airbrush this in layers to bring out the required effect.
For the weathering, I airbrush very diluted dark grey through a scotch bright for a splattered and a dirty look. The burnt effect on the engine panels is done using a brush and various shades of silver acrylic paint. Next I use gold and metallic blue to bring out the color variations on the panels. I use dry pastel powder to bring out the discoloration. And finally I will use a black watercolor wash to bring out the final detail. The decals provided a few and take a little over half an hour to apply. For the Indian Air Force markings, I use my own printed decals. I use decal setting solution to allow the decals to adhere to the model nicely and embed themselves nicely into the panel lines. To bring out the panel lines, I use a dark grey and dark brown watercolour wash. I find watercolours the best to do these washes as they are easily applied and removed using water and q-tips. Next I simply attach all the bits and bobs to the model to complete the assembly. I airbrush the model with future floor polish mixed with Tamiya flat base as a final layer to seal the paintwork. Last I attach the OFA bombs to the aircraft for a completed assembly. As a conclusion, the Trumpeteer SU-30 MKK kit is a good place to start with if you want a Sukhoi 30 SM, MKI or the MKM version in 1 to 48 scale, but it needs modifications. As on today, it's only Kitty Hawk who have brought out a SU-30 SM in 48 size, but it comes at a price and with less plastic out of the box. I hope you like the build, I know there is more that could have been done but I am satisfied with what I could make of this. Do like, comment and subscribe. Till then, cheers friends, bye bye.